Hello guys and welcome back to more progress with the Iron Man account. Can you believe it? No you can't. I am back. Wow. So it has been a hot minute since I've even opened this account, let alone YouTube. Um, anyway, before I get into life updates, I just want to let you guys know what is happening. Um, we are going for our graceful outfit right now for Old School RuneScape. I am back at the Iron Man account. I am playing it regularly. Um, so... We're going to have new videos up. So I got my 260 um, graceful marks from doing agility in uh, Canifis. And we're heading over to um, Berthorpe now. We're going to the pub um, to go get the uh, outfit. So um, while we do that, uh, I'm just going to give a little update. Um, that is my phone going off. I'm going to give a little update for what is going on um, and why I haven't posted on YouTube. Um, basically, I've just been really busy in real life. There's been a lot of changes that I'm not going to get into. Um, and yeah, so I am almost done with uni. Um, I've just got to do my dissertation for my master's. That's almost done. So I thought I'd get back into it, uh, YouTube, at least just for now. Old School RuneScape Iron Man Progress. Really been enjoying it, to be honest with you. Taking a break from it, really enjoying it. Um, I don't really have any schedule for this yet. Um, but I know I've come back before and I'm like, yeah, back on YouTube, I actually am going to be doing videos now, um, at least for Old School RuneScape. Um, I will be back to Let's Plays and things. I do have a couple of games I want to play in mind, but that is not till uni is officially done with because I just don't have the time right now. Um, so I don't have any schedule for Old School RuneScape, but I will be uploading when I've made progress. Um, I'm doing a lot of egg FK stuff on the game uh, right now, but I will... Um, even if I don't record it, I will uh, update you guys when I'm recording something that is worthwhile recording. So do not worry about that. Um, I think at the time of this, after I've done the uh, agility stuff and getting my graceful, I think I was level 57 agility. So I got quite a few um, levels, which is really good. Um, I do just want to say though quickly, um, if the um, over the next course of videos, if the dimension of the video kind of changes, it looks a bit weird. Um, I'm not too sure why that has happened, um, but I will try and make sure that doesn't happen again. And also the little um, recorder tag at the top of the uh, video is really annoying. I didn't realize that was going to happen. I might go ahead and purchase the full thing don't really want to but I'll decide I'll have a look see how much it is get rid of that it's really annoying we are getting the outfit uh, from Grace um, in the pub in Berthorpe so the graceful outfit is going to recharge our run quicker and it's going to make our run last a lot um, better so it's going to make the run last a lot longer so it's going to be a lot useful especially what we're about to do we're going to go around and do a lot of quests because um, they're really good for XP and they're really good for Iron Man because it's basically just free XP. You just got to do the quest. Um, so that will be really useful. I decided to change my gender as well. I was a male on the um, game. But I've decided to change it to um, a female. I've also changed my name as well uh, to Lonnie. Um, similar to how I changed my YouTube channel as well. If anyone not knows, I've changed it. Um, and it also now coincides with my RuneScape 3 main as well. And, and I wanted the character to look like my main as well. So I decided to do that. Uh, I think she looks pretty cool. Not that we're going to really see her much because nine times out of ten she's going to be covered in the graceful outfit. Because um, obviously we're going to need that. It's practical so why not use it?
Um, so yeah, I'm just doing some quests at the moment. I'm not too sure how I'm going to handle it. I think I'm going to try. Um, don't quote me here. This is all pre-recorded, the narrative. Um, I'm going to try and do a little montage of the playthrough of the quest. Speed it up, add a bit of music. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I don't know if it's going to stick around or not. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Um, at the very least, I'm going to show that I completed the quest with the little co quest complete bit at the end of each quest. Um, and then add in any information that I need to with that. I got a random event here, the, um, well, I don't know what you call it, the devil agility training camo thing, military camp. I got full uh, camo gear, which I, I don't have the hat, but um, it looked quite cool in my character, but it's such a so annoying that you can't have fashion escape on old school um, old school but um oh well it looks pretty cool anyway I just wanted to show here, um, completing uh, one of the quests, um, it gave me um, some lamps, I can't remember what this quest is, but it opens up a whole new area for training in old school. Um, yeah, we don't have it in RS3, I need to learn the name of it to be honest with you, but I just wanted to show you guys that um, I'm putting all of the XP from the lamps and the random events straight into runecrafting. Um, just for the simple fact that um, runecrafting is kind of difficult to train in old school because it's about running altars where in RS3 we have rune span. Um, so I'm going to put it all in there, um, make it a lot easier. Also, if I had mentioned before, the reason why um, I'm doing quests is because there's a really helpful quest guide um, for old school runescape. It basically tells you um, each quest to run through in what order. And it also lets you know if you need to train up a skill really for the next quest as well. It's really useful. Um, the quest guides are really, really short. You only need to know what you need to know to get it done, um, which is perfect in my books because I absolutely hate questing. But it's one of those things that have got to be done, unfortunately. Um, if anyone is interested in that guide, let me know and I will send you a link or whatever. I'll add it to the description of the video so you guys can uh, use that as well. It's really useful. Um, so I'm just running through uh, the Barbarian uh, training tutorial right now so I can unlock the teleports to get to uh, the mini quest, auto mini quest, the Barbarian fishing. Um, because I need to get that quest done so I can unlock the Barbarian fishing because I'm going to basically aim to get 99 fishing um, while AFKing uh, various things, playing RS3 or whatever. Um, basically when I can't do quests I'm going to be AFK fishing um, which so it's, that's going to be useful 
it's just something to do in the background instead of XP wasting. But the reason why I'm doing Barbarian Fishing is not only do you train fishing, you also train strength and agility as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be training fishing to get to 99 and also training strength and agility. You should get, should get pretty nice levels with those two um, at the same time. So that's really good. You might as well do it if you can't, if you can do it at the same time. And I'm an absolute idiot and I didn't realise I had didn't have 48 fishing and I can't do barbarian fishing so that was great but at least we unlock the teleports so we can get there quickly so I don't have any footage for this but I've been training my fishing level up in Catherby and also uh, barbarian village um, so I was using big net at Catherby and fly fishing at barbarian village um, and that's just how I got to 48 uh, fishing uh, again, I don't have any footage of the Barbarian Village stuff. I completely forgot about recording it. Uh, but that's how I got to 48 Fishing. And then I just popped straight back over to Barbarian uh, Fly Fishing. Um, and that's where I'm going to remain until I get level 99. Now I just finished this quest off and I just wanted to show you guys a little trick. Um, it's the man murder mystery quest I believe it's called. Um, so basically you get this silver necklace as a quest item but you can also equip it. Um, it's totally useless outside of the quest but the only thing it does have going for it is its cosmetic value. Uh, before you complete the quest if you drop it on the floor and then complete it you can pick it back up again and then use it as a cosmetic item. Um, and you can keep it so that's quite useful I just wanted to let you guys know that the rest of the video is now going to be me uh, speed running through the quests if you want to see um, what quests I did during this video you can check a look in the video description and I'll label them in order so if you guys want to follow along at home you're more than welcome to um, but anyway I'm going to leave it here for actual um, progression I'm going to be just running through some quests 
Uh, so make sure you leave a big thumbs up on the video, guys. It really helps um, on YouTube. You really don't understand. Um, it helps the video um, spread and um, go viral a little bit. And don't forget to um, hit the subscribe button as well to follow me along on my Iron Man progress. And until next time, guys, I will see you then.